good old Yu-Gi-Oh! The modern game is pretty fun, and so is progressing through all the old competitive formats. But that's not really how a lot of people experience the game, is it? Now, for me, nothing beats the chaotic excitement of Playground Yu-Gi-Oh!, where the ban list is whatever your friends don't like, and the decks are all barely functioning jank. Here on this show, that's what we're gonna try and recreate. I'm Hardleg Joe, and each episode, me and MBT will open 75 packs, one from each core set. From each of those packs, we'll get to pick just one card to keep. And with those, we'll build our decks and face off in a best of three with dire consequences. The loser of each episode will get to ban one card of their choice and claim a few bonus packs for the next duel. The winner will get a shiny chaos coin. Nearly useless on its own, but the first duelist to ten coins wins the entire series. Each episode, we'll get more packs, slowly growing our collections as we evolve from random caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! to more modern strategies and combos. And there may be a few bonus surprises along the way. <laughs> this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Season 2. And welcome back to Episode 2 of the Chaos Draft. I am Hardleg Joe once again. Joined by my co-host, the Richard Nixon of Yugi Tube, MBT. <laughs> I don't think that's really fair, uh, because I don't appreciate being called the Richard Nixon of Yugi Tube after I was just cheated out of a victory. I, I mean, of that, course, that Hardleg <laughs> had to do his own personal Watergate and shut down the Edo Pro servers to prevent me from walking with the easiest duo <laughs> of my life. But hey, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. You have to resort to sneaky tactics to beat one such as I and a deck such as mine. I need all the do advantages what you must. I can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you must. But it will not work this time. My deck is unstoppable. And as we were talking about before the uh, recording started, your deck uh, is is quite stoppable. Yes. It is. Uh, it is. I, I have heard it, it. It it has the capacity to be stopped. You will see the openings. You will see the deck profile. But uh, spoiler alert: they are they are big poopy butthole. That is probably the scientific mm. term for that. I want to ask you something. Uh, in your previous experience with the uh, uh, YGOPRODECK.com shuffler, did you find that you were opening very few secrets at the start of the pack? Um, I do not look at the rarities. So I have I no like idea. I've opened nothing but rares. <laughs> I've opened, like, no bombs. Where are my Stardust Dragons? Where are my Triple Tactics Talents? You know? Ah, I'm honestly whatever. surprised we haven't seen mo like. You know, if you saw last season, everyone had, like, six Pankratopses. Yes! And I, <laughs> I, it's a common! Where's my fucking Pankratopses, that, that, buddy? That's what I'm more curious. Where are all our commons at? I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead into the duel zone and see how things shake out. All right, here we are. Episode 2, Legends of Blue Eyes. Time for another 80 packs. But before we get to that, I do want to kind of go over my, my basic strategy. Because I did have a strategy last last episode and this episode but i kind of uh, explained it over the course of several packs and a lot of it got cut out during the editing process so i'm just gonna just gonna start it off here basically i'm looking for five specific things which are things i saw in season one a lot and always passed up because i was like ah eh, this wouldn't work unless i was gathering it from the start and now i'm gathering it from the start so those things are dragon support Zombie support, general water support, super heavy samurais, and marincess. Which I know seems like a pretty broad range of things, but we're opening from all across time. All the different packs and everything, so you've got to have kind of a broad reach if you want to be able to find stuff in every pack. And I'm sure even with that, there's there's random stuff we'll see, but that's that's what we're going for. One of those five things. Of course, not in Legends of Blue Eyes. That we're just looking for staples. Of which we got none. Um, nope, not a single zombie. Let's get Remove Trap. That might be good if MBT has, um, I don't know, some kind of trap to remove. 
it's time to open some more packs, and we were constrained last episode. Yes, our deck was killer. Yes, our strategy was sound. Yes, Redoer is the best card in a limited format, as is World Shield, but no, we did not pull anything at high rarity. Last time, we were building around the really powerful commons that have existed throughout Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. This time, we're going to be building around the sick-ass secrets that we pull. So, let's see what we can get. So we're going to absolutely start with the number one set, Legend of Blue Eyes. And again, what I'm hoping to pull from these early sets, realistically, is just going to be uh, the broken-ass spell traps that uh, were printed before they knew what uh, should be legal in Yu-Gi-Oh. And none of these are any of those. Ooh, we could play Flame Ghost. That's great. What the hell do we pick out of this one? I guess Flame Ghost actually is the pick. I literally would not play a single one of these cards. Magic Ruler. Ooh, ah, Cyber Jar. That doesn't fall into any of our categories, but yes. Very yes. I mean, Umi Rika's kind of neat. But yeah, I can never, I can never turn up a chance to play Cyber Jar. It's always funny. <gasps> now that's what I'm fucking talking about, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Royal Oppression! It's time for Hardleg to feel the oppression of the Royals! Oh god, please don't put that in the video. Pharaoh's Servant! Do -do -do. Ooh, Nobleman of Extermination! Select and destroy one face-down spell trap card, and if it was trapped, both players must remove all copies from their decks. The all copies thing isn't going to be a big deal unless, like, MBT happens to get a Torrential Tribute, but still just having any sort of spell trap removal, especially banishing spell trap removal, very nice. Although Solemn Wishes is decent, um, because it can just stall the game out, but I don't want to stall the game, I want to win the game. Oh, wow. That's huge. That's so big. Oh! Yeah, give me the Wing Blast. Legacy of Darkness... Well, we've got a dragon, it looks like. Oh, bottomless trap hole. What the fuck am I? <laughs> I was like, oh, look, a subpar dragon. Oh, wait, no. One of the best traps in the game for a long while. Something that a lot, a lot of people don't know. This was limited. I think it might have been banned for a while. This used to be a one of. But yeah, definitely taking that. My Magician's Force has some good spells in it, right? And these are not any of them. Jesus Christ. Uh, Magical Merchant is maybe a decent playable. All right, Magician's Force. Remove brainwashing. We don't have any gradles yet, but maybe someday. Magical Merchant is a funny card. We've got a zombie and a dragon, but they're not very good at either of those. That's a winged beast. Um, What the hell does Anti do? Each player reveals one card from their hand. If one card is higher level than the other, the player with the lower level is sent to the graveyard. Player who revealed it takes a thousand. Yeah, I don't think I want to play a card that just reveals a card in my hand to do a thousand. Jar Robber. Activate this one. Pot of Greed. You indicate it and draw one card from your deck. I think I'm good. I'm gonna go with Magical Merchant. I don't think we'll use it, but it again, it's a funny flip monster. When the Cosmos is macro! Dark Crisis. We got a dog. You got Gaga Gigo, Great Maju Garzit, and Regular Maju Garzit. Let's look at these real quick. Um, twice the number of the monster attack you tributed. Attack is equal to the combined. Okay, I don't think I want to tribute two. Gaga Gigo is just a water with 1800. It's a reptile. I mean, on the one hand, this might actually be a good tribute monster, especially early in the game. And I don't think I'm going to use Gaga Gigo outside of this. So yeah, let's just, in an effort to try to get more possible boss monsters, let's take the Great Maju Garzit. All right, one of the most powerful sets in the history of time, Phantom Darkness. Let's see what the darkness has in store for us. Garbage, 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 garbage. Oh! I'll take Valley. Power of the Duelist. We got Duelist power over here. Hey, another defender. That'll be good considering I have that hand trap that, like... Doubles defensive stuff. Maybe I could maybe I could cheese a game out of that still. Uh, we're never gonna get Doppel Warrior off, right? It's just not gonna happen ever. Yo, Terminal World is so funny, but not good. Mm, 
this is the worst card I've ever read in my entire life. We will not be taking this, Blackwing. Oh! Yeah, this card is fine. It's like a dog shit, um... A dog shit version of Neospatian Grandmal. Strike of Neos! A Cyclone, we got a DD Crow. I think I'm gonna take that DD Crow, I tell you what. All right, time for absolute power force. Let's find an absolute power of uh, forcing me to consider playing a new deck. Actually, I kind of like Machine King 30,000 BC. Uh, it's a four-star trap monster, which is really, really good if we have a redoer in our extra deck. Absolute power force. Ooh, I always love Reptilian Naga. Just being able to, to non-targeting reduce something to zero, and it can't be destroyed by battle. Another thing for my uh, my defense deck. What's Forgotten Temple of the Deep do, though? Uh, its name becomes Umi. You could target a fish or whatever, banish it during the end. Okay, it doesn't really help me at all. So we're just going to take the Reptilian. Dimension of Chaos. Dimension of Chaos is a card... Oh, shit! I want to take back my last six packs. I just want this entire pack. Whoa! Okay, so Wave King Caesar is, of course, a very powerful four. Uh, but I don't give a shit about that. Gradle Eagle is a really good removal spell. Gradle Cobra is a really good removal spell. But Cosmo Wicked Witch is a win condition. Yeah, no, it's definitely Wicked Witch. Whoa, I can't believe we picked that up. Dimension of Chaos! Ooh, we got the Super Heavy Samurai Trap Removal, but also a Gradle Eagle! Ooh, the Gradle Eagle. Ah, the Gradle Eagle. I think I have to go for that. This is this is this would be really nice. The only problem with it is it's one of those super heavy samurais that like you can only activate if you have no spell traps in the graveyard, and it locks you into super heavy samurais for the turn. So until you have like a full deck, this is not going to see any play. I'm much better off going with this. It's a water, it, it does other stuff. Okay, Dark Illusion. I'm not reading that shit. Uh, Paleozoic Hallucigenica is really good. Uh, it is Shrink. Card of the Soul is good in Duel Links, where you can search 2,400 attacks, 1,600 defense monsters. Yeah, it's got to be Hallucigenica. Judgment of the Light. What sort of judgment will you lay upon me? Doesn't look like anything that fits our theme, but we do get a Fencing Fire Ferret, which is decent removal in this day and age. Uh, this card is destroyed. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. And I believe this activates in the damage step. So again, if we're going up against his redoer turbo, this will be able to out that. Circuit break. Ooh. Well, I do like X-Crawler Synaptis. It's a little too specific for our purposes. Samurai Destroyer is a really good card. Just like a really strong card. Legacy of the Valiant. Uh, not so much the dragons, not so much, I mean, this is a water. Not particularly good. Zero zombies, by the way. I think we've gotten, like, one this entire time. If you control a fish and a winged beast, you can special summon this. Levels of all monsters, um, yeah, I don't think so. But uh, let's just take another Jack Frost. Seriously, Force. Okay, let's see what we pull out of this bad boy. Wow, uh, wow, wait a minute, a second world shield. <laughs> I mean, that's terrible, right? We would never want a second one. We would never want a second one. Yeah, we'll take you. Crossed souls. Okay, Abyss Stungray is good. We've already got the, uh, the, the whatchamacallit, the pa statue of anguish pattern that works with the trap monsters. And nothing else really seems to be uh, leaping at my goat here, so we're going to take that. Oh, see, this is what I thought the other Herald was. This is what I thought the other Herald was. We're taking this just because of that. The Dark Illusion. Ooh, ha. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. You're going to get me with the water monster that destroys spell traps. And also the thing that gets Unizombie. I think I have to go for the unit. I'm going for this zombie deck. I'm Right now, if, if MBT is going to ban something, it's probably going to be my water monsters. I need to have the zombies as a backup. Wow. 
I thought this pack was gonna suck, and then I saw Crackdown. Let's fucking go, baby. Flames of destruction, called by the grave. Hot diggity daffodil. We're taking that. Ignition assault. Here we go. Uh, ooh, wow. Uh, it might actually be Time Thief Retrograde. This is like a... A literal solemn judgment. Yeah, let's do it. All right, then. All that leaves now is five packs of our bonus set for this week, which is Dark Legends. We're moving up. This is still early DM staples, but slightly more powerful ones. Let's see what we get. Flip number one. Well, we could take the Exodia pieces. Uh, seven Tools of the Bandit is just like negate a trap. That might be worth playing. Summon Skull is a tribute, but I think we're going to take seven tools. All right. Pack number two. Maneater Bug. Very nice. Magic Jammer. Megamorph is also very nice when a spell is activated. So, to negate any trap, negate any spell. Probably better than Maneater Bug, if we're being honest, and Megamorph at this point. So, there's two. Let's go ahead with three. We're getting Trap Hole. Or Nimble Momonga Trap Hole. We're gonna go for the Trap Hole. That's a nice, nice, pretty good at this at this juncture. Um, pack number four. Penguin Soldier. There's a water and a nice flip monster. Sending stuff back to the hand. Let's go for that. Umirika also tempting, but nah. And then pack number five. Um, Magician of Faith gets back any spell. I think. I think we're gonna go for that. A little disappointing we didn't get like a mirror force or something. Let's let's open like a six pack just to see. Okay, so it's we didn't miss out. The copycat would have been nice. So we'll see. We'll see what uh, we can put together using this, and hopefully we can put up a fight against MBT because I feel like we really should have lost that last one, and it was only luck that I didn't. We're opening so. We're also opening five packs of Dark Legends, okay? Five packs of Dark Legends. What the fuck is Dark Legends? I've literally never heard of this set in my entire life. You know, Dark Legends, hey, you know? Dark Legends. Okay. Uh. Oh! Well, fuck my duck. Ooh, shit. Well, like, you can only take one. So which one of these are we taking? All right, easy, actually. Regeki's a super and Heavy Storm is a rare. Uh, we'll pull another Heavy Storm. All right, pack number two. Uh, we did not pull another Heavy Storm. Uh, tomato seems pretty good. I would also be fine with Thunder Dragon on spec that we'll get the Thunder Dragons later. Yeah, let's do Tomato. Tomato's just generally just such a strong card. Hmm. Okay, this one a little less good. Uh, a little less strong. Shit. I don't want any of this garbage. I guess we could take... Magic Jammer? I'm going to take Gravekeeper's Servant, and we're going to maybe make a mill deck in 15 weeks. Jesus Christ. Another uh, heavy, please. Ooh, another Thunder Dragon. We should have taken the fucking Thunder Dragon. In fact, I am. I, I think I'm going to start taking Thunder Dragons. We have three left. I'm going to take Thunder Dragon number one. <sighs> this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Messenger of Peace is crazy. Shining Angel is crazy. Upstart is crazy. I think I'm taking Messenger. But how do I win if I Messenger, though? Seven Tools of the Bandit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take Seven Tools. Last thing. Because we lost... <laughs> because we lost, we get to open three packs of anything. Three packs of anything provided... The pack contains nine or less cards. All right, we'll do dual overload. Okay, so we're going to open three packs of this bad boy. 
Okay, you know what, chat? Uh, I'm listening to you from now on. Holy fucking shit! Whoa, what was in this set? Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Uh, it's Levianir. It's Levianir, 100%, right? It's gotta be Levianir. The Paleo's crazy, but it's Levianir. Whoa, my god. Yup. All right, number two. Excuse me? It's not even the best card in the pack! <laughs> I mean, we're picking it. We're picking Halka Fibrax. You're always picking Halka Fibrax. I'm sorry. I love Infip. It's a great card. The monster effects that people are activating right now are not very good. It's always Halka Fibrax. 100%. Take the trap trick. I'm good. And then one more. I guess I should have taken the Imperm. Hmm. I'm going to take Last Warrior. All right. So you know how last time we were playing a whole bunch of water monsters and a whole bunch of dragon monsters? Pretty much entirely so we could, we could just make title. Well, we're, we're doing that again. We're doing that again. We got a couple of new boss monsters. They're not as good as the one we've lost. We lost the uh, the Unchained guy. We got Rabid Dragon. It's pretty big. We got uh, Great Maju Garzit. Pretty nice. So here's our four boss monsters. We got a couple monsters that I would qualify as like beaters. They're just like kind of high attack. And then everything else is either a water monster that is kind of useful, a dragon monster that is kind of useful, or something specifically that, like, gets rid of a uh, Time Thief Redoer. Like, we got Nightmare Penguin. If they gets flipped up in the battle phase, you could send it back to the hand. Um, same thing with Gradle. We could steal his Redoer. We could get... Uh, well, this doesn't really do it, but this is just generic removal. Same thing with the Reverser Beetle with the Cyber Jar. We still got a couple things that'll help us just stall out until we can get to our, hopefully, gooder things. And then also, because he's got Redoer, we're just not playing, like, any trap ex blah, blah. We're not playing any traps, except for these four, because they're, like, the best traps. These two out Redoer. And this one, I just really, I want to get this off at some point. I think it'll be really funny. We've got all the traps in the side deck, though, so if he decides to not go after Redoer, if he thinks, like, oh, we're on a strategy of, of not playing any traps specifically to counter that, or if he's got some other kind of boss monster, I'm like, oh shit, I need to get rid of the graveyard. Well, then we've got we got a couple things to do that, as well as a couple other traps. We've also got these two attack directly dudes, in case that way, if we get to a stall fest again, hopefully this will be able to settle the stall fest, because it could just tack over the shield, and then maybe I can defend it with, with all the traps. Uh, we're probably not winning this one. To be honest, I, I don't think I deserve to win the last one. But we'll try our darndest. And you know what? Maybe maybe we'll get lucky. I, I do like to say good luck, have fun. So let's do that for us. There is no way we are losing this week. Okay, I know I said that last week and then we lost, but it took an act of God for that to happen. The internet wrenched from Hardleg's grip. This time, he will not be so lucky. Even then, I almost did it. It just took the unluckiest series of mills in the history of time to draw our entire deck. <sighs> Maybe I underestimated Joe just a little bit. Things like Abominable Unchained Soul did give me pause, but I don't think they will stop this deck. This is a lot better than what we were looking at last week. We are still on the Time Thief Redoer plan. Redoer remains an amazingly powerful card and intensely influential in close game states with limited card pools, but this time we're playing a lot of cards that are independently good. I know, shocking. <laughs> I was surprised that there's stuff worth playing too, but I think even if the best case scenario happens and we blow hard leg out of the water in two games flat, he bans Redoer, we'll still have the tools necessary to potentially come back next week without our tail between our legs. 
a lot of the same theory from last time. We've still got ways to enable Shield. We've still got ways to enable Redoer. But we've also now got ways to enable Chaos Dragon Levianir and play a resource-oriented style of gameplay using GOAT format staples like Mystic Tomato and Spirit Reaper. We even picked up some really powerful stuff like Raigeki, uh, some post-GOATS era advantage engines like Cyber Valley, and uh, some cards that are good based on the cards that we have available to us right now, like Seven Tools of the Bandit. I'm feeling really, really good about this list, and... I hope that Hardleg came prepared. So I'll go through each individual card real quick. First, we've got Chaos Dragon Levianir. This card can be special summoned by banishing dark and lights from your graveyard, and almost all of our monsters are darks and lights. We built that way a little bit, but mostly darks and lights are just actually the good cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you banish darks and lights rather than darks or lights, you get to destroy two cards your opponent controls, which is pretty good. We're playing World Shield, still an unbeatable house, and I doubt there's a single card in Hardleg's deck that can deal with this. We've got Wicked Witch, who is not only a really adept pilot if we ever pick up any of the rare Cosmo ships, things like Forerunner. She is also a win condition in and of herself. She's 1900 attack and can protect herself using her effect. Sleeper is... The most suspect card still remaining in my deck, it's kind of a negate. Uh, it special summons monsters from your hand, which might come in handy with the World Shield. Uh, but most of all, it's just in here because I am really hoping for a Luna in future uh, episodes, and I can use that to summon either Sleeper or Fairy Tail Snow, which is a uh, house and a half. This card is going to be banned by the end of the series, mark my words. Uh, it summons itself, it prevents OTKs, it disrupts, it books, it is material for fours that can turn into more material for fours as you detach from the fours it's great sure the blue flame summons a uh, gale the whirlwind nothing much to talk about here jane in a more just society you would have been executed for your crimes but i believe in second chances and more importantly you're a light monster we've got Cosmo, Good Witch, who is kind of Book of Moon. Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf, which summons a token when it's summoned, meaning you can go to a Cleefort Genius or just attack with a 2600 attack point monster. Shocktopus is the new target for Buzzsaw Shark. I took out the Hammer Shark. Shocktopus is also kind of a removal spell, so it's just a little bit better. We've got Draw Guy, who is a four that I am really excited to get rid of. Buzzsaw Shark, still a one card redoer. Mystic Tomato, Goat Format Staple. Heraldic Beast Basilisk is like a really shitty shit all construct. Gomer of the Nordic Beast is like a really shitty Neospatian Grand Mole. Battle in Boxer Veil gains life points when you lose life points and summons itself from the hand, prevents OTKs, walls up, and special summons a four. Gale is a really powerful removal tool, but enables a seven-star synchro with Shura. Spirit Reaper is Spirit Reaper, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Crawler Axon is spell and trap removal. Realistically, I don't have a ton of this, and if there's one way we lose this week, it's because Hardleg is on some sort of floodgate monstrosity, things like gravity vines that I just don't have any clean outs to, then he'll deck me with something like a Destiny Hero Defender. Admittedly, this is a pretty big blind spot for our deck right now. Uh, we've got some stuff on the board to beat decks like that, but uh, we'll see. Magical Merchant puts cards in the graveyard, things like Fairy Tale Snow, but also gets us to our insanely powerful spells and traps, and Cyber Valley draws cards. For spells and traps, we've got Raigeki. That's right. Just Raigeki. No big deal. We also found the good Abyss card, the one that I thought it was. Uh, this is a non-targeting, non-destruction piece of removal. Very, very strong card. Axe of Fools is an armory call target, as is United We Stand. Mask of the Accursed can prevent an opponent's monster from attacking, and they take 500. We don't have the link material yet for Hardleg to really link off any monster willy-nilly, so if I put this on his win con, it's an alternate way for me to take a game. Rocket Hand is kind of two removal spells. Uh, Blind Obliteration is a board wipe. Punch in the Box is crazy. Armory Call is a combat trick, Quaking Mirror Force is Quaking, World Reassembly summons Shield, Hallucigenica is Shrink, Phoenix Wing Windblast is removal that acts in a very particular way in a deck that includes Redoer, Impenetrable Attack is Impenetrable, I can't believe we got Crackdown. I'm just shocked. And next we're on some cards that specifically enable Redoer. Uh, Machine King 30,000 BC is a trap monster. A little crustier than Altergeist Emeltelf, uh, 30,000 BC can only be summoned on your opponent's turn because if you summon it, you can't special summon for the rest of the turn, and we want to use it to make Redoer. We've got seven tools of the bandit. Traps are very good this format, as well as Time Thief Retrograde. It seems a little win more, but I think we are so consistently getting the Redoer that I do want to have the Omni. In the extra, we've got Last Warrior, Flame Ghost, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Samurai Destroyer, and uh, Psychic Life Transfer, which we can make. 
Destroyer is the more powerful of these two. It's our maybes, and if it goes to the graveyard, you can summon back a machine, including itself. Potentially, we'll get hard leg with his pants down if he doesn't uh, understand the implications of this card, um, but many of the old synchros did stuff like this. Tempest Magician is here, but I don't think we can FTK. Time Thief Redoer, Ice Beast Zero Fine. I don't think I have two winged beasts in here right now. Uh, Zodiac Camera Kong, a Gorgonic Guardian, Herald of Pure Light, uh, Berserker of the Tenny we can actually summon, Cleefor Genius we can actually summon, Halka Fibrax we can actually summon, but we don't have two tuners, just one, and Proxy F we can summon, but we don't have a payoff yet. Someday for all of those Link monsters. Those are investments. In the side deck, we've got Gap. This is in here if Hardleg is playing some sort of deck that and potentially tries to stall out the game with defense position monsters that can't be destroyed by battle. Gap would move them to attack. Uh, I think he's a pretty decent answer to decks like Pac-Man. We've got Heratic Dragon of Tefnuit. This is always coming in going second. It's kind of Cyber Dragon. Watt Cobra uh, gets under Messenger of Peace specifically. Des Wombat is a way to beat Burn. Outstanding Dog Maron is a way to beat Mill. Soul Release is a way to beat Graveyard decks. True Nade and Malice Dispersion are two anti-floodgate deck cards, but Malice Dispersion is only good against Gravity Bind oriented ones. If hard legs on like messenger, then we gotta go for the Watt Cobra, I guess. We've got Book of Eclipse. Uh, there's potentially scenarios in which hard leg is able to do something like sit on a Krebons for multiple turns. This prevents that from happening. We've got two macro, a gravity bind, uh, a shadow imprisoning mirror, and a pulling the rug, plus a royal oppression. Now, you might think I'm crazy for not maining this, but keep in mind royal oppression was legal for like years and was bad. That was because people were used to normal summoning. Uh, what's more, royal oppression is reciprocal. It's only good if you can set up an unbreakable board, then lock your opponent out of playing the game. I don't think we're there yet. There are a lot of removal spells that actually do beat Redoer at this time, not to mention Kaijus. If our opponent just prevents our Redoer from winning the game on its own, they can prevent us from ever making anything else. What's more, Hardleg's deck probably normal summons a lot more than mine. I'm keeping this in the board for now. I think there will be a time that this is busted and banworthy, but we are not there yet. All in all, every one of these cards is independently powerful. Every one of my existing game plans is extremely consistent. I think it is extremely, extremely unlikely that barring a second act of God, Hard Leg walks with this set. Gonna be a quick 2-0, fellas. Alright! Here we are, ready to begin. Are, are you excited for this rock, paper, scissors? I mean, I guess so. Uh, I, I don't know how much the RPS uh, matters. You know, in, in Constructed it matters because... You set up your unbreakable combo, and there's nothing your opponent can do about it. But my unbreakable combo is like set Spirit Reaper pass. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not I, sure. I almost think I I might be taking second just because I want the extra card. Um, I think my deck is good enough that I do want to go first. Okay. Ooh, and uh, I was rewarded. This means that I'm able to normal summon Buzzsaw Shark, activate its effect. Uh, I'm gonna summon from my deck a Shocktopus. <laughs> And then before you can set all of your idiotic removal spells, I can go into my redoer. Remember this guy? Yeah, he's pretty neat. All right, I'm going to set two cards and uh, pass turn. When the doer is re... All right, stand by. I'm going to activate redoer. Now, you would tell me if you had kaijus, right? Yes. Okay. I certainly would, if you ask. Let me check what's under this guy. God damn oh, it! Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm so happy oh! I don't have to deal with this asshole. My oh. one be if I, um... Well... We'll set a card and your move, holy man. <laughs> hey, my move indeed. I'll draw for turn, and that is a very interesting one. So uh, I'm going to activate uh, Time Thief Redo again. Can we get a trap card? So nope. here's the thing. <laughs> I knew you were playing Time Thief Redoer, so I'm not playing any trap cards or spell cards. I'm playing a monster yep. mash. I have great news for you, buddy. Uh, I no longer need the top card of your deck. Oh, you have some way to uh, attach stuff to Redoer once he's already summoned? I will say this title is a little concerning. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to normal summon a Fairy Tale Sleeper. It can negate normal spell traps, which is really good. Yeah. You're playing a lot of those, right? <laughs> so the problem with the Monster Mash is all I can do is set. If I, if I don't uh, have anything good. I don't know if I'm even attacking this. If it's a man-eater bug, it's going to activate and damage one of the very few times you can actually get rid of the Redoer. <laughs> As if I uh, pulled a I, man-eater bug. I'll go for your snow man-eater. Not quite. <laughs> oh, it is a man-eater bug, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Holy, <laughs> holy shit a moly Oh, never mind. You're toast. <laughs> you're, you're dead. Jar. 
da 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 Cyber Oh, you're just getting every good card out of your deck. Oh, enjoy your Jack Frost. Enjoy your great Maju dumb fuck. Wait, what was that? I wait. Where's where's the trap card? You said you lied to me. <laughs> How could you do this? Just a, I mean, I didn't play hardly any trap cards. Wait, I'm not gonna go over torrential, torrential tribute. tribute. That doesn't count. That went without saying. By the way, you know, enjoy that torrential tribute while you can, buddy, because that shit is not sticking around if I lose this one. <laughs> uh, Ghost Trick, Jack Frost, Nobleman of Extermination, uh, Reptilian Naga. It can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, have you read the second half of this card's effect? Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I will attack uh, with uh, Cosmo Wicked Witch. Have you read the middle part of its effect? Uh, y yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think it is going to end up mattering. Uh, I'm going to activate... Activate. I'm going to attack with Gale the Whirlwind here. No, my Jack Say Frost. Say goodbye to your precious Jack Frost. And then in main phase two... Uh, I will... Yeah, that's fine. You'll become zero. So you could pay a thousand to take a bunch of battle damage and try to survive. Unless you got a Cosmo ship in there. I actually have a Link monster. Oh? That I might be able to summon. Please. Buddy, can you think of a Link monster that can be made with one tuner and one non-tuner monster? Uh, most of them. I'm hmm. pretty sure, like, you know, Lamp for Linkus, Space Insulator, uh, Linkle Bell. Whoa, you have 15 Linkle. cards in your extra deck? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, buddy! How many of those you can you I actually make? Uh, a significant amount. Let me count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. I have six. I can make two. <laughs> the rest are just for show. Huh. Okay, as, as much as I want to Linkro off this motherfucker, I think it's actually terrible. Um, I'm going to set one card, set two cards. Go ahead, buckaroo. Setting all the cards. Okay, time to just waste something randomly. Let's go! Nobleman of Extermination! Okay. That is my... If it's your Torrential Tribute, that might be screwed. Hallucigenica. I'm going to target your Naga. <laughs> Not its attack! I needed that! Oh, uh, well, importantly, this keeps it in the graveyard because you didn't destroy it. Oh, hey. Tidal. Tidal's pretty cool, right? Uh, depends. I don't find him very cool at all. Let's get rid of my... How do you have water? Red dragon? I have him in my hand. Oh, you're just gonna minus two to summon Tidal. Well, motherfucker, enjoy your title. I will. I have nothing to say about that. I will enjoy my title. It's very big. He's um, gonna get bigger. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, 600 attack. There we go. Yo! Now wait, I will not be taking three... so much damage. Does it set back to 300 when Hallucigenica triggers? Uh, Hallucigenica? Who's that? The Paleozoic. Oh, Sorry. okay. Gotcha. Um, hmm. You've got yeah, all... Cyber Jar is a real fuck. That's the thing. You've got all this back row. Some of those are probably tricks. But they are. I'm not going to have much of another chance to do this, so I'm going to normal summon Great Maju Garson, <laughs> who will gain. This is the biggest boy I've ever seen in my double entire Double the life. attack of the monster tributed for the summon. Oh my god! Which means I can hit your zero attack Wicked Witch for 5,200, 62 if you want to pay the extra thousand, and you're punching my box. Oh, I'm punching more than your box, buddy. Let's bring that hallucinogenica back. That's weird. That's lewd. In several states, that might be illegal. All right, get him out of here. Hate this card. Um, Reptilian piece of garbage. All right. And that was my one normal summon. Welp. I'll set a card. Here go. Okay. Uh, deciding if I want to uh, Wicked Witch at the end step here. Let's draw for turn. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really nice one. Hmm. Gail, you can cut okay. me in half, and then I would just be the same size as the uh, the dragon ruler again. <laughs> well, I will not be cutting it in half. I will be cutting it uh, all the way 
to zero. But first I have to decide in what way I want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, I'm gonna link off, or synchro rather, my Gale the Whirlwind and my Fairy Tale Snow. Grab myself a Samurai Destroyer. Um, Would you like to Torrential here? Hmm. No? No, I think I'm good. Oh. I'm fine. Well, okay. I'm pretty sure my I still gain I still keep the attack, right? You, oh, uh if I attack? Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah, so I'm good. <laughs> uh but you're not going to be keeping shit when I send your monster to the graveyard. Oh. Herald of Yeah, the remember this card? Designator no, of I the don't, Abyss. because you picked a different one last time. <laughs> well, guess what? I I pulled the other one. And you're going to have to deal with it this time, as I call Dark Fiend. Um, do I have to send it from the field? Um, yes. Well, you know, as, you know, as they said in the Salem Witch Trials, more weight. I don't have to choose. You can't make me. <laughs> oh, God, you turned the timer off. I can't. Shit. <laughs> Hard like your win condition cannot be the heat death of the universe. All right, I'm not gonna stand for that. Fine, God. All right, all right. No fun. I like uh, the the comments hmm. in the comments if you get the more weight joke. I thought I I like making historical references. Uh, torrential is such a bastard card. Why do you just attack with what you've got? I mean, what can I possibly do? Well. I can kill you if you don't have torrential. But I do but have I torrential, you, so I you watch can't you. kill me. <laughs> so just attack that and be is done with it. True. But I still might be able to. I am trying to talk myself into some of the worst plays in the history of time. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just attack. That's what the chaos draft does to you. It's got that chaos feel. Unsure. But none of those chaos calories. Exactly. It's okay. I'm pretty sure you've destroyed every one of my boss monsters, except for Tidal, who is rapidly running out of things she can use. Um, but that's okay, because you control more monsters than me, which means I can summon Capaterra. Just a good that old bird person with big card. hands. Sure. And let's just send this to the graveyard. I'm not too happy about it, but sure. Okay. I'm a little happy about it because you did not read my card. No, no, I did not. When Samurai Destroyer is sent to the graveyard because of an opponent's card effect, I can target a machine in the graveyard and special summon it. And lo and behold, the Samurai Destroyer, in fact, is a machine. Oh, don't you love early synchro design? Well, sometimes you gamble and sometimes you lose. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, uh, that is going to be met with my Wicked Witch's effect. Uh, I want to keep her around for the time being. Even though she has zero attack. And wouldn't you know it, my Samurai Destroyer That's was sent to the graveyard by turn. opponent's card effect. <laughs> Don't you love old Synchro design? Woo! <laughs> Not even an old Synchro. God damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, what? well. You just title me all you want. I guess I'm going to go minus again. <laughs> oh my god, you really are. Sure. No fucking... Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this one way or the other. Okay, I think I am just gonna, uh... <sighs> kill you here. A sad state of Woo! affairs. Get him out of here. Damn. And let's, uh, let's wrap this bad boy up. I'm gonna activate snow at end step. Uh, beep, 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 beep. I don't need any of this shit in my graveyard. All garbage. The redoer was just bait. The snow is the win con. All right, out she comes. And uh, what is this? Is this enough? Well, the uh, Mystic Tomato off the top will be enough. I'm surprised. That okay, I, I know you're on some bullshit like a uh, Ghost Trick Jack Frost, but you know, better have it. Yeah, better. No, it's one of those things where it's like I thought I thought we were still slow enough that uh, I wouldn't have to worry about a whole bunch of special summons. 
And truthfully, oh, I don't, no. because the only reason you got, like, five monsters on field was because of my own card! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, buddy, you're describing a textbook YP and acting like it's an MP. Touché, touché. Uh, um, okay. okay. Well, I'm fucking boring into. That's, that's fine. We're going to, we can, we can, we can make our way, making our way uh, downtown, something, uh, something. Got a thing, it's a kitty cat. A Suck my ass and it's homebound. Do 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 do. Back in do, black. Do, 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 do. I hit the sack. You better watch out for my big ass sack. <laughs> That's the line. That's what he says. Um, Back in black. I hit the sack. Okay. I love to do crack. <laughs> this this ain't making it in the video. Oh, that, that's not up to me. It's up to the editor. I'm not going to make him redo uh, this shit. This ain't it in the video. <laughs> it's one of those things where normally when you sideboard, it's to, um, you know, it's to uh -oh. it's to counter your opponent. And in this case, it's sideboard because I realized my main deck is fucking awful. <laughs> this, uh, th this one might not work out for me, buddy. Uh, don't worry. I liked your thing so much, I'm just going to copy it. Well, it might work out for me now. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's draw for turn. Eek. Okay, uh, we're going to go Magical Merchant here. All right. Excavating car. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a nice one. I am a big fan of that one. God damn, right, Geki. I'm going to Normal Summon Cyber Valley. All right. Now let's draw a couple of cards. Go for it. Draw all the cards Ooh. you want. All right, go ahead. When the card is drawn... Um... <laughs> Yep. I don't have many traps in my deck, but I got all of them. Mm. Oh my god, the best draw in my deck. Don't mind if I do. Alright, uh, I am going to normal summon Shura the Blue Flame. Alright. Battle phase. Cyber Jarmy. Cyber Jarmy again. See what happens. Nope. You're taking some damage, boyo. <laughs> oh, that's not too big of a deal. Uh, I'm going to set one more... Are you ready to get milled uh, out again? Are you ready for a repeat yeah, kinda. of the first episode? I'm not scared this time. My deck has so many good cards in it, I couldn't possibly be milled out. Hmm. This does kind of suck. I would like to, uh, to not have this defender anymore, but I don't really want to crash into your guy because then you can search some stuff. Uh, I'll set another monster. There you go. Yep. All right, in standby, I guess I'll draw a card. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. And to make sure that I don't fucking draw the target, I'm going to world reassembly. <laughs> um, yep, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, is there? I haven't gotten mm, Dark Bribe I yet. Certainly hope not. Ooh, wow, that's a very strange draw. I've got a lot of cards that are really good if I'm losing... But I'm not yet. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's try that set card. Alright, it is Fencing Fire Ferret. Get out of here. Okay, well, I tried. My uh, burn deck name. is winning. I will set one more and you're good. Okay. Um, yep, I certainly am not. Uh, <laughs> hmm. What do I have here? What do I have that might be of any use whatsoever? I really wish I had a rank four right now. That would be very nice. Rank fours are insane in this format. I, I recommend picking up any rank four under any conditions ever over some of the like really powerful cards like Raigeki even. I saw one, it was like an Ice Beast Xerophane and it's like, uh... Oh, that card's crazy. Yeah, but I need Wing Beasts and there, I haven't been picking up any. Uh, uh, just, you'll find Black Wings eventually. Yep. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Keep enjoying yeah. your cards. All right, so uh, to the graveyard goes my big shield. Uh... Um, let me read this real quick. What does it say? If this card is in your graveyard, you can pay... Okay, gotcha. And then in my standby phase, I'm going to try and get it back. Try? What Certainly makes you think I have anything that can there. stop you? 
I don't know, Dee Dee Crow. You wish. Called no, by the grave. <laughs> that's similar, yeah. Oh, no big deal. Give me my extra card, fool. Denied. Okay, fine. Take it. At least I got rid of one of your win conditions. This is... I, I admire your, your aspirations, but uh, World Shield is not a win condition. It's a God, please do not kill me condition. <laughs> Same thing. I don't think I'm in any danger of that this game. Um. Behold! Granadora! Yep. <laughs> I, uh, I have been there as well, yeah. This, is, this has to be the ugliest monster in all of Duel Monsters. Yeah. It's up there. For sure. Um, okay, let's see your man-eater bug. Uh, not a man-eater bug, but it is a bug. Uh, it is Crawler Axon, and I will be activating the effect to pop this card. Well, Oh, that's a, that's a sick pop. Holy there shit. goes my Dynamiscus. Sometimes you gamble, and sometimes <laughs> you lose. The question is, do I want to make a fucking space insulator and risk my life points, or let you continue to draw cards? <laughs> Uh, space insulator it's the only link i've got <laughs> yeah no links are really important for clearing out your zones as we learned last time saying we in quotes here as i learned last time <laughs> okay we're fine right, that's fine we're fine surely oh, you don't have exactly anything that can get I'm over 1900 well if i don't have one your defender is gonna draw me the fuck into it <laughs> all right let's go for um cosmo Goodwitch. ah what a good thing one of the very few high rarity cards I have, and a really sick one. She just gets to book. If you would uh, flip my defender face to... Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually good. I, I would prefer you take 2,000 life points and me to keep drawing cards. Fair enough. It was face down. Its effect shouldn't activate. <laughs> All the set cards of the world. I <laughs> Everyone is pretty good. Um... Hmm... Setting all the cards every single time. I didn't, you know, I didn't design this as a as a mill deck, but uh, it's certainly getting there. I have like five oh. high attack monsters. I've not drawn any of them. I don't think you will. Wow, this is so good. I'm the best at Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, I'm gonna normal summon a Fairy Tale Sleeper. Do you have a response? Uh, no. All right, I'm gonna activate Altergeist Emeltelf. Um. Yeah, that's fine. And buddy, I don't need the top of your deck if my cards are trap monsters. Ah, very tricky. All right. Um, gonna... Time's up, buddy. Uh, I'm going to Regeki now. I've had enough of your little defender, and it's time to No! Ooh, my Nightmare what Penguin! What a perfect time. What a perfect time to start attacking. Wow, you, we almost have lethal here. I did not expect all of this to uh, work out. All right, combat. Let's go sleeper. All right. I'll allow it this time. And let's go redoer. Uh, let's flip that face down, shall we? Mm, not a big fan of that. Uh, hmm. I don't think you can tag out in the battle phase. Or can you tag out now? I can tag out. I'm going to do it, but unfortunately, it doesn't do exactly what I want. You do get to keep the Jack Frost here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to set one card, and uh, unfortunately for me, you are good to go. Okay. Unfortunately, I do have more traps in my deck, which means bad stuff might could be happening. Well, sort of. If I don't have a monster, I can't tag out. Uh, pretty important to get that. You're still on the snow ghost bird. You know, this is this really overperformed. I think this card's crazy. It overperformed? I, I thought it, so. Eh, it's all right. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I've been setting cards so far. Why why ruin the streak? Uh, that's what I'm saying. All right. Two set. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's go for Redoer. Stealing my shit. Stealing okay. my shit. I'm really worried about looking. If you could just Cyber tell me what jar. it is. Cyberjar. Oh. How could this happen? How could uh, well, this now happen I know that that set to card me? Can't be... I made I my mistakes. Nope. Oh, son of a bitch. Just Spirit Reaper. Right. No biggie. Uh, 
I don't really have very many good answers to this. Uh, go ahead. Defense mode. I wish I had this earlier. That would be really, really cool. Let's grab that trap card. Easy! Did you Abyss get it? Stung Ray! <laughs> trap when the... When the traps can't... Oh, I see. You saw that you won a game because you had a monster that couldn't be destroyed by battle, and now every fucking card in your deck can't be destroyed by battle. Is that what's going on here, buddy? That might be something similar to what's going on. All right, I'm going to tag out at end step. You can have your Spirit Reaper back. Hey. Soon. I really... You know, there was a bunch... Of, there's, like, a couple people in the comments. They're like, why didn't you just activate Torrential when Time Thief Redoer summons itself back to the field? Like, it doesn't summon you, fools. <laughs> it comes uh, yeah, I'm, back. I'm sorry, buddy. Like, you, I think you did have some opportunities to remove the Time Thief Redoer for the low, low cost of you summoning a monster, torrentialing your own board, then chaining Dynamicious when I try to tag yeah. out. The low, low cost of six cards, you really could have removed it. All right, let's, uh, I guess we are going to have to deal with Jack Frost eventually. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm going to take the the 1850. And we'll go in again. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, what is this? Um... Okay. We summon. And then... We're going to Torrential on the summon of Jack Frost. Ah, that's sick. Unfortunately, my sleeper has an effect. She does, uh, but the, you're just you have to tribute another monster you control. So either well, way, I'm losing the redoer anyway. Yeah. So uh, to the grave it goes, um, and you can, I guess, flip my monster face down. Hey, neat. Uh, I would prefer to keep her if at all possible. I'll consider it. All right, up to you. Um. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, to 1,000 and five back row, I am the most foolish, foolhardy fool to try this. Uh, oh, I see. You know that the defense of this monster is 1,000. I do. And I know that space insulator is 1,200. <laughs> I see. When the insulator is space. Uh, Are you going to waste a trap to stop space insulator? I mean, absolutely not. No. <laughs> uh, I'll go for the fairy tale sleeper effect. This allows me to special summon a monster from my hand. I'm going to get Jane because I'm stupid as fuck and I learned nothing from last time. I'm going to put her in the zone because it's very funny. Oh, okay. Which, uh, oh, and she'll have 1300 when she attacks. All right, uh, hmm. End step, I'm going to wing blast. Uh, we're going to pitch a Axe of Fools. We're going to target this one. Um, damn. Having this really would have helped. <laughs> oh, I bet it would have, unfortunately. Well, the good news is now I know you have it, <laughs> eventually. Eventually, And Dynamicious as well, I see. Yeah, at this okay, point, I've just got to block my precious, precious life points. Okay. Um. Oh my god, what a fucking draw. Okay, well, now that I have a bunch of garbage in the graveyard that I don't need anymore, uh, let's banish the Sleeper, the Redoer, and the Shura. And what do you know? I got a Chaos Dragon Levianir. Oh. I'm just going to go ahead and blow up your entire field, if that's okay. Sure thing. Oh, bottomless. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I'll blow up one of your entire field. And oh, the Dino Miscus protects me. You can't blow it up. <laughs> it is the Dino unaffected, is Miscus. Unaffected by monster effects. Is it affected by... Spell effects. Yeah, probably. I activate the Superior Herald! <laughs> okay, this is a Water Aqua, so I guess I will be declaring that. Uh, but it is also a trap that does not count. Uh, we, we'll see if it counts. Can you send it? 
Hmm, it looks like it counted after all. And let's see if you can count. What's 3300 minus 1850 minus 1800? <laughs> I had this damn great Maju Garzit in my hand the entire time, and I was like, if I could just keep any monster with like 1,200 oh. attack on board, then I could I could tribute summon it. And I'm sitting there like, well, I could tribute Defender and have a 200 attack monster. That would be that would be exciting. <laughs> but I'd at least stop drawing cards. Okay, well. It, it, I mean, I, I went into this knowing that you had the advantage and that the, my luck in the first duel was only going to make you stronger. So, congratulations, <sighs> MBT. Like Nixon before you, you win a second term or a first term. Yep, and you get a coin. Like Nixon before me, I'm sure nothing will ever happen <laughs> to fuck up my rise to power. No, not at all. Although, it's only Folks, been about... I was joking. <laughs> it's only been about 30 minutes did you want to do one more bonus duel? I think I can out this. Oh, hard leg. I would love to do a bonus duel. Hey, okay. So give us one second. MBT will claim his victory here, and I'll get one more duel to decide what the hell I'm going to ban from his deck. Oh, shit. All right, here we are. The revenge duel. My chance to showcase that I'm not dog shit. I've improved my deck. Even though it has four more cards, I assure you it's better. <coughs> Ugh. This is um, this is a hand that could lose. This hand is uh, is pee pee poo poo doo doo ka ka bad. There we go. The mighty T. Oh. <laughs> well, I I keep forgetting uh the deck that you're playing is uh, similarly not strong. Uh, let's see if I can unbrick myself by walking into your defender. Nope, but this will unbrick you. <laughs> Hell, I I think it just may. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my God! I know Cyber Jar okay. is broken, but I absolutely... It's so much fun! It makes it is, things yes. so exciting. Oh, enjoy that fucking... <laughs> oh my God! It summoned your fiendess! Okay, oh, Hain Hain, Nightmare Pet... These all bounce monsters, buddy. Every single card here bounces monsters. <laughs> okay, um... So, I guess which we'll start which? with Snow. I'm just going in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ba bounce whatever you want here, buddy. Um, I'm gonna bounce the Gammer, actually. Gammer. He's like the worst Neospatian Grand Mole ever printed. Alright, uh, we're gonna set one, two, three, four, five cards. Okay. Go ahead. And I am going to banish your fucking punch in the box to the Shadow Realm. Get that shit out of here. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! How did you? Oh, oh, hey! I get to confirm. Hey, nice I get man to see hunt. Your deck. Nice Raigeki. I know you still don't have oh. that in your hand. <laughs> your deck. Your deck is a. Uh, it's a little bit of a sussy baka, it's, if you don't mind me saying. It's pretty awful. Um, There's some good stuff in here. I like the Gradles. I like the small Guru package. Not super sold on the Rabid Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than it looks. Okay. Um, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Well, it could not possibly be worse than it looks. Uh, okay, so we're going to flip up the Hain Hain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send that back. When the Hain is Hain. There we go. Uh, am I taking 12 this turn? Summon Fiendess. Yeah, of course. Um, Penguin Soldier. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be... Oh, wait, I should have. Fuck. I could have sent the Fiendess oh, back to, to my hand. the Fiendess back? <laughs> What's uh? What's the plan from this position? Are you getting in for the? Oh, <laughs> that's uh, that's something. Just gonna attack for a lot of little bits of damage. Now that the punch in the box is clearly gone, I knew that Got that them. would be the first thing you set because it's your favorite fucking card in this format. <laughs> it is my favorite fucking card. I love punch in the box. I think it's crazy. It's removal. It's attack negation. It makes you feel like an asshole when you walk into it. <laughs> it's like a mirror force that sucks ass. Uh, and then we'll just... Um... Oh, right. Yeah. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can set my penguin soldier back down. I'll get I'll get that fiendus back somehow. <laughs> I was like, hmm. It doesn't really work if the guru's face down, but sure. Ooh, that, we, we got some sussy bakas in the chat. All right, uh, Fairy Tail Snow. Do I want to trigger her effect? You know, I don't actually want to set your uh, Hain Hain back face down. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked? 
Oh. That's what I'm saying to you, bad no! boy. Get seven tools. Seven tools. Woo! Get him out of here. <laughs> All right. It's time for the bandito to bungle your beehole. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Joseph? All right, I'm going to set one card and pass her. Okay, so you want to know something kind of funny? Yeah. Um... What? He can't search himself. What? I have another fiendus. Why can't I search? I saw your deck. I th I thought I had two. Oh, you have two guru. Okay. You have two guru. Well, pff. um, flip up penguin soldier. Yeah, sure. Let's send these two back. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna obit now. I think. Blind obliteration. Roll a six-sided dice twice and destroy all face up with levels. Oh wow! Do you feel lucky, punk? So this just this is just a board wipe, right? Uh, it is. Wow, we hit exactly four. Uh, suck my dick. Holy shit, I suck. Oh, I should have normal right, that's summoned. Fine. Oh, I could have had game if I normal summoned. You could not oh, have. After I... damage calc, I'll activate veil. They oh. Uh... Okay, well touche. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Um. All right. We're going to set this. Yep. And we'll just flip these two face down again. 1800 is bigger than 1600. I'm not looking to take any damage here. Strange draw. Uh, I'm going to normal summon snow. Are you going to use its effect? <laughs> you know, I'm actually good. Uh, let's go into my good friend, Time Thief Redoer. Yeah, we'll put him here. Um, Battle da. Let's go into Guru. All right. Touche. Uh, second main, I'm going to set one more card. You are good to go, Buckaroo. You have so many spell traps. Yeah, it's it's like nine-tenths of my deck. I'm playing a, a 21 monsters, I think. Uh, and even that feels like a lot. Yep. Sometimes you gamble, you know, and sometimes you lose. <sighs> Unfortunately. Um, it was a magician of faith. Hmm. Oh, you've got a magician of faith. That's a silly card. I do. It can get me back all the, uh, I can get the Nobleman of Extermination, that I have two. Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, this doesn't work the way I'd hope it would. So, let's just end our turn. All right, sure. Uh, can we get a trap off the top? I'll take a spell off the top, too. Uh, I'll allow it. It was a spell. Hey. What do we got? Back up rider. Oh, yeah. I see why you're playing this. Sure. Just so I can get over uh, the, the redoer with a bunch of stuff. God damn it. I was so... All right, Neo Spatian Grand Mole. Let's put that Spirit Reaper back into the hand. See, I put it into the... <laughs> put it into the wrong column. What? Oh. If I had put it in the... the oh, by the other extra monster zone, I would have had you. I see. Um. Oh, you're gonna jack frost me. You're gonna jack off me. Yeah, let's jack frost. All right, uh, I'm gonna tag. Uh, I'm not gonna go out here. I, I'm just gonna draw the card. Ooh, that's a nice one. All right. Hmm. I think I'm good from this position. Go ahead. Okay. Let us. Normal summon ghost bird of bewitchment. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's a that's a big ass bird. Let's see if I can get twenty three hundred over the two thousand. Uh no, but I'm deciding what flavor of no exactly. <laughs> there are many ways I, mean, I could deny flavor. you what you want. This is but one of them. Welp. 
Touche. Yeah, if I had any other out, this would also be nice because you could summon it in the extra monster zone columns, and then you just can't Yo. activate your effects there. Yo. Good out to Lynx. But yeah, if I, I summoned that, granted you had the uh, the 1800, but at least I could have gotten rid of it before you could make it into a thing. Okay, we'll go for Sleeper, we'll flip up Redoer, we'll set this. Uh, I'm going to Armory Call. All right. And I'm going to put... You don't have Moon Mirror United Shield, we do you? Stand. Oh, okay, United We Stand. Might as well be. On the Sleeper, like this. Right, battle. 3250. Sleeper Shit. over the ghost bird. I don't have very many good outs to a 2500 defense guy, but this is a decent one. Uh, I'll just take, you know, any amount of damage could, here. Could be anything. And uh, we'll get in for 24. Uh, Alright, one turn, buddy. Not unless you want to get rid Statue of something. Statue of Anguish Pattern. Wow, that is such a sick rip for me because I get to Phoenix <laughs> Wing Wind Blast out to the top of your deck. Sure. Sure. Fine. And then uh, you are good to go. All right. Hmm. Curious. Uh, I'll activate Redoer here. What could I have So drawn? I can't get the Anguish pattern. Uh, what'd I get? Keeper of the Shrine. Sure. No! My dragons! How am I going to get Rabid Dragon now? What I'll is, bring back Draw Guy. What does Draw Guy uh, do? Summons him to my side of the field, and then we can both draw a card, but I'm, I'm not going to let you do that. Uh, why not? Hmm. Just one card. I, what could it hurt? I do wonder. Oh, I wonder, wonder, whom I do, I who. All, All right. right. There we go. Okay. Perfect. We're fine. Right. I've uh, got I've got torrential tribute. Don't dare summon anything. I don't intend to. This board already kills you. Yeah, oh, I think I definitely have to ban the redoer. Uh, it's okay. it's so uh, much of a hassle. I didn't want to because it's it's such a dumb card. It all it does is it, like it doesn't out. feel good, right? Yeah. And then because I'm not in the column, down. it's like, oh, whatever, just fucking around, doing nothing. Uh, bada bing. You had the... <laughs> it's an on-theme Omni. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I had the DD Crow, too, if you ever got anything, but, uh... Yeah. Nope, the graveyard hate wasn't... It wasn't the snow that saved you, it wasn't the world shield, and if I have to get rid of something, it's definitely gonna be the redoer. But ah, uh, come on, <laughs> buddy! All right, I, I, you know what? I I want to be mad and like I I'm you know I'm playing up being an asshole and everything, but I can't be mad about this. <laughs> Redoer is game warpingly strong. He's at common. I could just keep opening this pack if I ever lose again and find another one. Just keep like, getting more. It's it's so weird because it's like gotta go. You know, I, I assume without the traps, like oh yeah, it's it's fine. What is it? You're just gonna dodge out exactly. of the way, but. Just honestly, by being virtue of a rank four, just gives your deck yep. the ability to put on so much more damage than mine can so much quicker. Mm -hmm. It's like if you ever dodge a removal spell ever with this card, you win the game. If you ever hit a trap card, you win the game. Uh, it influenced my pack opening for the last two weeks because I took Altergeist, Ameltelf, and Machine King 30,000 BC yeah. <laughs> just so I could sometimes get a fucking trap under this guy. Like... Yes, it is uh, incredibly powerful, incredibly game morphing, uh, but it's also probably the best ban if you want to neuter my deck because I'm playing a bunch of bad fucking <laughs> cards to enable it. Shit like Machine King, shit like Buzzsaw Shark, uh, things like Draw Hand. I kind of have to go back to the drawing board next week. Yeah. And honestly, that's for the best. I don't think these matches were like particularly competitive. I mean, to be fair, it's... You still got a whole bunch of level fours. It's not as though level fours are going to be bad. If you get some tuners classically and Classically weak level fours. Yeah. <laughs> the level four pool is, is classically known for being just, like, underpowered. There's not enough support uh -huh. for level fours. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've been saying this for so long. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, 
there is a little bit that's uh, frightening from my perspective. Uh, you've got a bunch of gradles that ended up not showing up, but uh, for future episodes, that's going to be an issue. I have I have a um, single gradle. <laughs> no, you've got the best one, yeah. for what it's worth. But to be fair, again, uh, you know, if, if there's anything we saw from last time, the gradles are common, and they're in a set that yeah. doesn't have a whole lot of great stuff. Most of the time, it's like you're either taking a gradle, an ignite, or a kaiju. Yeah. And if you don't want to play uh, pendulums, the the gradles are the obvious choice. Right. I'm um I'm excited to see what develops next week. I I feel like the first week I, <laughs> I kind of got sacked and this week you kind of got sacked. <laughs> so it's going to be a nice little fun coin flip to see who will be doing the sacking in our third episode. Yeah, the, the first like I said, the first two weeks they're always kind of like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. It's this very back and forth. Oh, I didn't feel either. back and forth at all, buddy. <laughs> Maybe not back and forth, but it, it's this very resource-intensive game where, like, every normal summon kind of makes a difference. And mm -hmm. from here, it just snowballs. And I'm curious to see yeah. how... By the time I got to uh, the third episode last time, I was on a dinosaur deck. And I had, like, a mm -hmm. competent strategy and, like, four gladiator beasts, which is enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll see. I'm actually shocked that we don't have any glads in rotation yet but uh, maybe yet, we'll see them but soon i will say uh to those of you watching at home if you think um time thief redoer was the extent of the bullshit that i'm prepared to pull in order to win these games you're sorely mistaken <laughs> you're gonna find out next week that the bullshit runs deep in my blood <laughs> i've got i've got gavin in one ear i've got simo in the other and they're both teaching me how to play stall burn it's hard leg I, I, I wish your ad revenue luck, because if the next episode does not tank your channel, nothing will. I'm looking forward to it. So until next time, good luck. And ban Redoer. <laughs> hey there, peoples. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. I, I really appreciate it. This is the end screen, where I take a moment to thank all the patrons who supported me on Patreon this month. This channel's funded mostly by Patreon, so if you want to thank anyone for the content, uh, thank them down in the comments. All of them are pretty cool, but I'd like to give a special shout out to everyone who donated $25 or more. Their names are Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Yellow, Yami, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Mark Jackson, Montry, RPK96 Joe Star, CD Games, Chris Kessler, Dancing Joker, Diotic, Matt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nerozar22, Nightfang, Penumbra Terna, Kirvin, Quintingent, Sean Griggs, Tayo no Kitsune, 3 do 9, Trevor F, and Weirdest Hickory. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link should be on the screen and linked down in the description. Every little bit helps, and you can get some cool rewards for, for just about every tier. Regardless, thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.